Let's take a look at a site together that has done really well during the Google Helpful Content Update. And a lot of people are whispering that this is an example of people first content. So I thought it would be fun to look at it with you. All right, guys, how are you doing over here in Texas? It is a cold, rainy day, but let's have some fun and take a look at a site that people are referring to as a people first content type of site. So I took the site and threw it into Ahrefs. It is a very authoritative site. They have a ton of backlinks. In fact, they have 5 million backlinks. They have a ton of keywords that they rank well for in organic search. But what I wanted to do was take a look at the pages that are doing really well and then throw it into some tools just to see what it looks like. And why are people calling this people first content or a people first content type of site? I was curious and I knew you would be too. So what I did was just take a look at some of their top pages and then and then put the top pages into tools so we can get an idea of what's going on. So the site is actually the spruce.com. And one of the pages that I looked at was affordable party games for adults. This page is doing really well and winning thousands of keywords organically. So I just wanted to glance at the headings. They have 19 party games for adults. And then you can see what they have are the game names. Great Minds Think Alike, Murder Mystery Games. This is how they set up this particular page. And if I were comparing this to other optimized pages, you might see something like Spoons, which is the name of the game. And then someone would follow that up with the best adult party game or the best affordable party game for adults. And they would kind of say something like that over and over after some or most of the party names. So this site is super clean. They did their headings really clean and I happen to like it. I like their style. I think it's obviously working for them. And it's not overly optimized or looking overly optimized to the eye. But let's take a look at some of the tools and see what they had to say. So I threw this into Surfer and right away it's telling me I'd better improve my content by at least 11 points because the winner is me and I'm at 57 and of course 86 and 75 over here. And then you have an 80 way over here to the right. Believe it or not, the higher scores are what used to win for this particular set of keywords or for this particular page. And now you can see some of the tools putting out output with a different mindset or through different sets of eyes, however you want to look at it. So they don't do a ton of internal linking. You can see the tools urging us. There's 55 great URLs you can interlink. You can see that that out of 735 important terms, I need to pay attention to 577 of those because they're missing or lacking within this piece of content, or I need to add more. You can see all of the red stop signs saying add, 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 add one to three because I have zero, add one because I have zero, like best party games, party guests. Really, the list goes on with the terms that I am missing. If you keep scrolling down, you'll see that it says I need to add about two to 4,000 words to the pieces of content. And I need to add words to all of the H2 through the H6s. I need to add words to all of the paragraphs. The list is endless of what needs to be improved on this piece of content, but this piece of content is in first position. So with this particular tool, you can see how the algo is starting to change. There's a set of instructions that have given weight to very specific factors on and off page that lead to a good optimization score or what would put us in first position. Now, typically we would look at this 57 and think, okay, how can I improve it to be better than this 86? But what's different in this particular case is the 86 is in third position or actually fourth position and I'm in first position with a 57. Now, I found all of this a lot interesting, but I wanted to look at a couple of other pages because just looking at one page, what does the heck does that tell us? So you can see that they have another page that's doing really, really well. Teen free DIY chicken coop plans. Now, some of these pages were doing well way before the update, and then some of them continued to increase and do better with the Google Helpful Content update. In this particular page, I took a look at the headings, and this one was a little heavier optimized. You can see where they talk about the name of the chicken or a DIY chicken coop plan, the palace chicken coop. This is something that I would see typically urban chicken coop land where we name what it is and then we tell you what it is over and over again.
in. That would be more typical type optimization that we are used to. So this particular page was optimized heavier than the last page that we took a look at. So I wanted to see what did it look like within Surfer. Now, Surfer says I need to improve my content score by at least 12 points. The last time it told me to improve by at least 11 points. You can see the higher scores are second and sixth position and 10th position. The lower scores are in first and seventh position. You can see that there's not a ton of internal linking, at least uh, what Surfer wants to see. Now, out of 602 important terms, I am missing or need to add 486. So if you take a look, you can see I have some, but they're asking me to either remove or add. But for the most part, it's asking me to add. Some of the terms, like free chicken coop, it's telling me I need to remove at least 10 to 12. So this is not the great greatest optimization score or content score that I have seen in Surfer. It's telling me to consider removing keywords from the body, to add at least one exact keyword in the heading. And the list kind of goes on about how I can improve my optimization score. And it's not the best of optimization that is actually winning. So I took a look at one more page. And again, I'm the 64. I'm in first position. And then you've got a 77, an 80, and a 76. Typically, I would strive to get my content to be a higher score than what's currently winning. But currently winning is a score that actually needs to be improved. And Surfer's telling me to improve it at least by four points if I want to compete. However, I am taking over first position for this term on this page. And thousands of terms on this page are doing really, really well since the Google Helpful Content update. So it's not optimized to the best according to Surfer. And however they are compiling their scores, this just shows me that we've had a pretty big algo shift. And the scores are telling us something different than what we are used to seeing. Just for fun, I also ran one of the pages through on page AI to just take a look at the entities. So I took a look at the adult party game page and you can see rank on here in rank one. Rank two has a lot more entities than I do. Rank three has more entities than I do. It's looking like I would typically, if I would see this, I would increase entities. I would increase my highly related words. I would increase my word recommendations that are here in red. Now, just because rank two has more entities, it doesn't mean they have the right or the proper entities for that particular page. But there is a gap on my page of entities, according to the on-page AI tool, that I could do better on. All right, after looking at all the optimization scores, we can then speculate or come to a theory that they probably have a lot more authority than some of the other sites with higher scores and that can also be very true. This particular site is high in authority, so the odds are it is beating out in authority. It might even be a larger site and be winning the topical authority race within the site content. There could be a lot of reasons as to why the site is winning or doing so well, but I did think it's very interesting that people are talking about how this is a people-first content type of site and just glance Enhancing at some of the optimization within the page. They don't do a ton of internal linking. They do pretty clean headings. They're not typically over optimized on every single page. You can see some of these headings, light, soil, water, temperature, and humidity. Typically, I would see something like light for the phlox plants, soil that is best for the phlox plants, how much to water the phlox plants, temperature and humidity for the best phlox plant outcomes. So you get the drift where some some of the optimization could be overly done on some of these sites where this site just appears to be a little bit cleaner to me. It did fail all of, all of the surfer checks that I did. The content scores are much lower. Now I have come across some lower authority sites that are also considered people first content. I'll be sharing with you next week. And we dig further into what the heck is people first content and what the heck does it look like? Just taking a look at what we have so far far, I would say that the spruce.com definitely is more along the lines of what Google would consider people first content and isn't as heavily optimized as what we are used to seeing. That was evident with the surfer scores. 